Hi, my name's Annabelle and I am an intuitive coach and this is my first video for YouTube. So I just wanted to give you an idea of what I do and who I am. So I actually started this journey probably about three years ago now, um, for 2019, uh, in like the depths of anxiety, panic attacks, not being able to move forward, and um, struggling to thrive or survive even really. Day-to-day uh, -day work was incredibly difficult for me. I was scared and nervous getting out of bed in the morning and I had just come to a level of pain and worry that I hadn't ever really known before. So much of it was tied into grief, uh, having experienced losing my mum three years prior. Uh, but so much of that was entangled in it. There was people pleasing, there was the need to prove myself, there was belief that I wasn't good enough and that I would never be good enough and that work had to be hard and difficult and that was the only way it was worthy or I was worthy. I needed the validation of men to be um, valued and valid as a person and I used so many escape routes, uh, binge eating, smoking, drinking, casual sex, just anything possible to avoid being in my emotions and my feelings. And that meant that I had extreme cumulative anxiety. Uh, I didn't feel capable of dealing with the world and I was still showing up. I was still putting a smile on my face and it was not that many people got to see the cracks, but the ones that did recognised how far I was from the person I was portraying. So I was lucky enough to meet somebody who said to me at the time, if you want to get a handle on your anxiety, stop drinking, stop drinking, stop smoking and start there. And that was what I did. I had a half marathon I was planning on doing to raise money for um, the hospice that my mum had been at and it was six, six weeks to go and I thought screw it I will stop drinking and I'll stop smoking and I will just make this as easy as physically possible to train in this very short period of time when I'm not a runner and maybe my anxiety will be helped as well. And so that all collided, came together, and I started to feel like I had an option of how to deal with what was going on. I started to feel like maybe there isn't just this intense fear, pain, anxiousness that I constantly have to live with. Maybe there is something, sorry. Maybe there is something that I can actually start looking at and start dealing with and maybe that's the way I get through this. I was at the time a nutritional therapist um, which is like a holistic form um, of nutrition where you consider the whole being and throughout my training and what I've I decided I wasn't going to go on any anti-anxiety medication and it was I recognized that there was an emotional link to this. I realized that grief was probably playing a huge part and I knew that I wouldn't be taking medication. So when it got to me having panic attacks on the street in London on any given day because something had overwhelmed me, I knew I wasn't gonna take medication for it and I knew it had to stop. So my only logic around it was that I had to access my emotions and start looking there but at the time those emotions were too difficult to look at so when I did remove 
the drinking and the smoking for just six weeks at the time, it was almost like it lightened the top layer. So I could start to kind of look in and look underneath and see what was going on. So that was the beginning. That was the beginning. And that was when I had the realization of I could make changes. I could make changes and I would see changes. And at the time I was scared of everything, scared of everything and could not move forward. Now that is not the case. <laughs> um, I've been incredibly lucky to do so many different healing modalities, tried so many different things out, not just not just um, I did things like cranial sacral therapy, hypnosis, therapy, um, CBT, uh, a lot. That's just the top of my head list, but I know there's quite a lot, I'm sure I'll add to them at some point. But I, I also started to look at the way I was living with my lifestyle, um, how I was interacting with other people. And I guess that was really the beginning of what became three years of self-love, self-care, letting go of people pleasing, letting go of trying to be the person I imagined I should be and allowing myself to become the person that I was always meant to be. So that is just a little intro about who I am and what started it all and I hope you follow along to find out a 